This video is brought to you by R4P3.net. We are an online security research community and we have a private team which focuses on TeamSpeak 3 specifically. This video series is going to discuss with you and also teach you how to make a TeamSpeak 3 plugin from start to finish. You are going to need to start off with Microsoft Visual Studio. Microsoft offers a community free edition. So I will be linking to this URL in the description below. Go ahead and click on it, open up this page and click on download community free. Once this page opens, you will notice that this polls open. We're just going to go ahead and save. So. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just launch this. So I'm going to run this here. Now I will click this and you have to run this. So there we go. Literally step one in the process of making a TeamSpeak 3 plugin is to get the Community 2015 Visual Studio. This is going to allow you to start free. If you are a business looking to do software development, obviously you may be more interested in the enterprise version. Now I will go with custom just because I like to really control everything. So I'm going to get C++. I don't need F sharp. Uh, Python tools, no. Um, really that's just about it to be honest. I mean, you can get uh, the common tools if you want to. You don't really need to, but you definitely do want to get Visual C++. And you can also come in here and add things on at any time. But for the time being, all that I really need is Visual C++ and what comes with that. So that's all that I need. I don't really need anything else. So. I'm going with just Visual C++ and I will click next. Um, now I will be installing, I'll be installing Community 2015 Visual Studio. This, go, this, is gonna, <laughs> this is going to take quite a while here. So, sorry I can't talk, I guess, but this is going to take a little bit of time, so I will pause the video and come back as soon as it is finished. Man, do I have great news for you. It's finished. It's amazing. Alright, now it's asking me to sign in. Eventually, you will need to sign in. I'm not going to sign in right now, so I'll do it later. Now, you have to choose your theme. Personally, I don't really care what the theme is, but I honestly like lighter colors, so. And then my development settings, I'm gonna go with C++. So now we're gonna just start Visual Studio up, ready to use, um, you know, for C++. You can really do this however you want to. It does not matter too much as um, once you launch or once you launch into the actual visual studio interface you will be able to see that you can create a c++ project and really at that point we're just going to be taking the sdk i'm pretty sure that it's just an sdk and then opening it up in visual studio so uh, let me pause this real quick now you are going to go to the downloads page and select SDK. Scroll down to the very bottom and for, uh, for the client customization plugin SDK version 3.0.18.1. It really does not matter what version this shows here. Let's go ahead and click download. This is going to open. We are going to save that. Now we can open this. We're going to extract. I guess we'll just go ahead and extract it to. Uh, we'll extract it to the plugins SDK folder. Now inside of here, you're going to find SRC. Okay, and inside of here, you will find this project file. Let's go ahead and open up this, and you will pretty much just be opening that project up like this right 
Now you are literally on your way to making this work, okay? So, blah, blah, blah. That does not matter too much. It's telling you something stupid. Now, what you want to do, though, is go into the source files. Here's your plugin C. This is literally your plugin. This is just a demo plugin here. And as you scroll through, you're going to find things like it's going to, you know, tell you what name the plugin is. It's going to give it um, the plugin a title and everything. Here it's going to use uh, t.png, which is a logo. Or not a logo, that's an icon. You can go in here, change icons. Um, there's different hotkeys. Yeah, there's a lot that you can go in here and do. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could like type test here. And once I go on and I make more um, different parts to this series on making a TeamSpeak 3 plugin, you are going to learn a lot more than just this. This is just to get you started and to get you set up with where you're beginning. Okay, so this is just part one beginning and I am going to make a number uh, part two of this series and then I will continue on and keep going with it if you like it hopefully you do I'm sure you will because there's not much uh, much in terms of options for documentation or tutorials anybody really teaching you how to make TeamSpeak 3 plugins so I will be that person okay I aim to do that and if you have any questions please feel free to jump on our form that is r4p3.net. We all look forward to seeing you there. Thanks. Have a great day.